Foreclosed homes with dead brown lawns can be found in just about every Valley neighborhood. While many see the demise of the American dream, some also see a business opportunity. Action News anchor Dale Yurong reports. Tall weeds overrun many landscapes which have been dried up and left for dead. The foreclosure crisis has forced frustrated neighbors to deal with the eyesores themselves. I actually went over there and mowed it a couple times just because they were getting so tall and stuff, you know. I actually went over there and cleaned it up a little bit. So Bankson was shocked to come home and see the yard next door suddenly taking on a bright green color. It looks uh, surprisingly good. They said painting the lawn and I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's as if they were taking a magic wand over the dead yard. I would say this is like equivalent to washing your car before putting it up for sale. You're, you're really uh, dressing up the property. Sabari is president of Green Canary, the San Jose area company specialized in coloring driveways and stonework, but is now expanded to the Central Valley. It's found a niche restoring curb appeal to bank-owned foreclosures. Uh, these homes get bundled and get passed on to property management. A lush-looking lawn is more likely to attract prospective buyers. Sabari says the water-based paint includes flower-based pigments. It is 100% chemical-free. There are no VOCs. There are no toxic components. The result is a stunning transformation. Once the housing crisis subsides, Sabari figures the company will stay busy keeping lawns green as people cut back on water usage because of drought conditions. Daily Wrong, ABC 30 Action News. And the company says a typical front lawn can be painted for under 200 bucks, and it's guaranteed for six months.